Hi. How are you friends? <laughs> Hope you are doing good. Uh, quite a lot of time from the last video, but what can I do? Uh, I'm working on my project and today I want to make a vlog about what will be happen in the future and what's going on today. Uh, first of all, I want to report to you that MKB heaters with all stainless steel exhaust system works very good, very fine on my car and I am very happy. I have covered about 600 kilometers in this summer. By the way, autumn started today. Uh, and uh, I can confirm that uh, the heaters and the exhaust system works very good. Fuel consumption uh, is perfect for my car. Uh, no upgrades or downgrades as it was uh, on the stock system. Uh, engine works way much better. Uh, it accelerates <laughs> very good, guys. Uh, and what can I say in additional? Uh, I like that when you push your leg on the accelerator and the RPMs are uh, higher than 300 per minute and then you remove your leg from the accelerator I need to slow the car but don't push the brake pedal uh, the RPMs are not uh, moving down very very fast and uh, they are moving down very slowly and it feels like uh, the car uh, uh, breezes and uh, works like the sport car but this is not sport car but uh, this is what it feels like and uh, I like it guys very much uh, RPMs are not stayed on the 300 or above 300. Yes, they are moving down, but they are moving down very slowly. And uh, it feels uh, that it is uh, something uh, unique on W210. And I like this very much. So, um, spend about $2,500 in overall for this mod. Uh, I think that... It was worth every dollar. Uh, if I had the chance, I would do it a second time. Not, not a problem for me. Uh, what's going on now? What is the uh, most um, important mod I am going to do with my car now? Of course, you may know from my previous videos that it is the camshafts. But uh, it is not uh, possible to take the camshaft install on the car and we are happy no guys this is complicated job and uh i realized that i have need and have to bought some additional parts to do this job correctly uh, i am not the guy which <laughs> makes some modifications uh very very fast uh, i make them uh slowly um because i want them to be uh good in the long term of usage my car if you do something fast today yes tomorrow and day after tomorrow it will work but after one month two months uh, exploitation of your car it will kaput and i won't do this guys uh, that's why uh, i am slowly but i do the things correctly as they should be it cost me a lot of money but i am ready for it so to install the camshaft on the engine uh, you'd better to change all the bolts which secure rocker arms on the heads of the engine and there are at least 36 uh, longer bolts with e10 torque sets and two um, little bolts with also uh, e10 torque sets and these bolts don't cost uh, cheap guys this cost at least three euros per one piece and uh, it is not possible to find them in here in my country in georgia and if you find here they will cost like the house and <laughs> fuck it 
and uh, fuck all the sellers which sell them. Uh, I don't care, guys. I'd better go and order them from Germany. I think that they cost what they cost and the prices from Germany are superb. I ordered them about uh, 120 euros without shipping and let's agree that this is a huge amount of money for the, for the bolt. Guys, these are stretch bolts and if you uh, mm, torque them once with 10 or 50 newton meters plus some angle, a 90 degree angle and remove them, uh, they are not supposed to be used twice. Uh, that's why you uh, can broke them and this is not the game I'm looking for here. So blah blah blah, uh, <laughs> this is a <laughs> lyric guys. I have ordered them from Germany and I have them from my garage. I sh will show you them um, a little bit lately to you. Uh, all the bolts are here and at least the uh, last part I will need for the job uh, is the WAF cover gasket. Yes. Uh, when I bought this car, the engine was uh, leaking and every M113 M1, and M112 engine, uh, everyone knows this, leaks from wall covers and uh, the gaskets. I replaced them about five, six years ago. Now everything good with my engine, no leaks. But when I remove the uh, valve heads, uh, I don't want to reuse the gasket which is installed now and that's why I ordered uh, this gasket from Germany Germany as well uh, 55 55 euros for both sides right and left and I think this is a very very good price once again if you check the prices in the local dealer in Georgia fuck their prices they are three or four times more than it costs from Germany to order and I'd go and buy them from Germany yes I will wait for the delivery but I am not going to <laughs> give my money someone who don't care about the consumers and only gathers the money uh, f <laughs> fuck this game guys uh, excuse me for my words but uh, I want to say so and this is correct in this situation uh, so 300 euros for camshafts uh, plus uh, 50 euros for shipping 350 euros plus 120 euros for the bolts and plus 55 euros uh, for the um, valve cover gaskets uh, in overall about 600 euros maybe I'm wrong but in overall uh, almost this or 650 euros for the stuff and additional cost will uh, to give the money to the engine mechanic I have the engine mechanic thanks God uh, I will not do this job myself alone because uh, uh, this is the first time and uh, I want not to damage anything mm, we will do the job together and uh, share with you the result and also the uh, installation process but this is uh, another thing of the video uh, this will cost uh, at least 100 euros uh, and uh, about 700 uh, 750 euros for this job yes it is expensive but I'd better do this and this will be the uh, final mode uh, to the engine and uh, the exhaust system uh, I have already MKB heaters with a uh, super built stainless steel exhaust now I will have uh, AMG camshaft which will allow uh, the engine to be more not quicker but more um, wild let's say so and uh, this will be the final mode I was going to uh, change the uh, air filter uh, BMC carbon uh, air box is what I wanted but guys uh, if we think uh, correctly after installing MKB heaters um, there is uh, a little bit more much hotter under the hood than it was with the stock ones because the stock heaters have some heat shields on them and uh, I don't want to install some uh, carbon air box uh, there uh, 
uh, because of the um, safety this carbonyl box costs about 150 euros and i want to damage it let's uh, stock filter uh, be installed there but i am going to change my afe pro dryers air filter in some um, Sprint filter. Sprint filter is a very very good reputable brand from Italy and um, in autumn I will uh, bought their um, uh, filter and install this on my car too but this uh, filter uh, story is uh, something uh, another now my goal is to install um, uh, camshafts on my car so this is the future plan and today and in these days I'm working on the issues which 23 years old Mercedes have and my car is not exception in this situation. Uh, the uh, mirrors have to be changed, uh, the front uh, uh, panel of the window must be changed, uh, rear bumper main covering must be changed there are some cracks there are some mm, um, rubber images the mural is leaking by the way uh, i hate this uh, mercedes oiled uh, self-dimming mirrors because after 10 years of usage they all leaks uh, you have good mirror then you are going to wash your car pressure washer you shoot it with the water and when you mm, wash the car you see that this mirror is leaking half of this is oily uh, yellow and half of this is the regular uh, mm, uh, white and i don't like this because that's why i have uh, digged and bought uh, original original mirror elements uh, with no self-dimming function and i will change them uh, both sides uh, now I will show you every part of the car right now I am going to change. They are on the way from the Germany. Uh, they cost enough, um, expensive. Uh, thanks God everything can be find, found today uh, with a new old stock condition from Germany for W210 cars. And I will do these um, changes very soon. So let's stay tuned uh you will see uh very very interesting stuff very very soon in my channel and now it was summer holidays other stuff and i have no time and i have no uh some ability to do the um, job i mean the camshaft but very soon uh, we will do it together so uh, thank you for watching be smart be strong uh stay tuned and uh, I will catch you in the next episodes. Goodbye, my friends. And guys, here are some parts. But uh, let's now at first see what is defective here on my car. And you can see the first uh, driver side rear view mirror. The oil is leaking here. And I have to replace the mirror element. I also have ordered uh, the passenger side one as well uh, here you can see also this plastic covering on the top of the windshield uh, the rubber is <laughs> removed uh, who did this I don't know uh, especially one month ago I noticed this and uh, I have to replace this plastic covering I have already uh, ordered it from Germany brand new original Mercedes one uh, and here we have the rear bumper uh, covering panel which is equipped with chrome and here you can see the chrome is cracked on my rear bumper covering this is the middle covering the longer one and I am also going to change it as well I have ordered this part brand new in original black paint from Germany also genuine Mercedes one here are some scratches also and it good decision to remove this panel and install a new one so these are the main main parts right now I am going to change and hope everything will be ok uh, also I want to show you uh, the bolts for the camshafts uh, which are installed on the rotor arms here they are you can see the part number and as I already mentioned 
I bought this from Germany, 38 bolts, two of them have different part numbers, two of them are shorter and 36 one are the same, a longer bolt, Swiss E10 Torx head and at least I have them in my garage and ready to install with these guys. And uh, also here you can see the mirrors itself, but uh, now I want to uh, talk to you a little bit detailly about the mirrors and uh, how I bought them, uh, what I think about them and how to um, dig and uh, find uh, original or at least OE solution for Mercedes. Now I will show you uh, this to you. So my friends, now let's see a little bit closer the mirrors. Uh, these are W210 mirrors. Uh, the first one is passenger side, genuine Mercedes one, and the second one is driver side, made by Ulo, made in Hungary. Actually, both of them are made in Hungary, even the original Mercedes part. Uh, this means for me that the Ulo is original part manufacturer here. Uh, I bought this uh, right side from Germany, here you can see it, brand new, new old stock condition without any defects, the back plate, all the markings and Mercedes logo on it. And uh, now I will show you the second one, which is made by Ulo, but once again Ulo is the original part manufacturer, that original Mercedes one is made by also Ulo uh, here. Uh, I will show you the back plate now. All the markings are the same as it was on original plate. Simply the Mercedes logo here is erased and that's why I can guarantee that this logo is original part. Uh, only the logo is erased and if you will lucky you can still uh, obtain them uh, in the sources in Europe in some online sources but they are very very limited quantity these ULO parts because they are not made anymore and if you want them you can try to obtain once again so now very soon I will install them on my car and uh, show you the final result uh, I have previous video on my channel where I showed you the installation process very detailed so stay tuned and wait for the final result here so my friends this was my vlog uh, now you can tell what's happening in W210 garage. The video is a little bit longer, uh, but uh, I shared you my plans and think that every plan I am going to do um, is very near uh, to reality and very soon um, I will cover them. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like, thumbs up and catch you in the next episodes. Goodbye.